Hey everyone, it's me Sherry and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a product that didn't work for me. Um, I don't do these often because when something doesn't work for me, I usually just pass it along and I forget to save it. But I've been collecting a few things that haven't been working for me. Right off the bat, the first thing I'm going to say is just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. And just because things work for me doesn't mean it will work for you because everybody has different skin textures, everybody has different skin types, everybody has different hair types, skin tones, so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's just get in. I have a few items here, smaller items, and then I have a couple of bigger items. Um, I, it, this is all makeup related too. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a few lip products that just did not work for me. So the first one that I have here is this um, Kiss Proof Lip Cream from Bella Pierre. The color is beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's in antique pink. It smells nice, um, not that that matters, but it's a bonus for me. It smells watermelony. Um, but this, I liked it at first, and then when I used it the second time, like I, I shouldn't say, first impressions I thought it was okay, but then when I actually used it, it was just sticky, but look at the color. It's so pretty. This didn't dry down completely, and it had the, like, kind of stick when your lips were pulling apart. So I'm probably going to pass that along. Maybe some, it'll work better for somebody else. I don't know. The next product, and I hate to say this because a lot of people love this brand, but it's from Ofra, and it is the liquid lipstick in Napa Valley. It's this really dark purple color. It's a metallic one. Now... First off, the color isn't good for me because I would never wear this color, honestly, because it's just too dark and vampy. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do it. The purple one, obviously. But this, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I didn't like the formulation of it, and it did feather on my lips. So this is on another fail. These actually both came from BoxyCharm, too. So I'll pass these along if somebody wants them. But they just didn't work for me. I'm going to have to get those swatches off or they're going to be all over the place. Okay, so I have one other lip product. And it's not that the product per se is bad. I just don't like the packaging of it and like like how you apply it. So it's from M Cosmetics. And these are called the Pillow Plush Lip Balm. And uh, it's in the color Lollipop. It's a pretty color has no smell to it but I just don't like these things where you have to dip your finger in and dispense the product on your lips that way it's just I don't feel sanitary I guess you could use a brush but who wants to take a brush for a lip balm like really like I don't even think I'm gonna pass this along because it's just I just think it's unsanitary and even if you could probably sanitize the top layer or scrape off the top layer but I'm probably just going to toss it so this just did not work for me the next two products, actually the next three products that I have are eyeliners. So this one is an Avon eyeliner and this is the Glimmer Sticks. Now I used to like these, but this was before I really got into makeup. Um, I just, I don't know, it just, I mostly wear water on uh, eyeliner on the waterline and I just don't think it applies the best on the waterline. So, um, unfortunately, that didn't work very well for me. The next one is this Rimmel um, Soft Coal Eyeliner in white. Again, it's not the creamiest. Like, it seemed to go on okay. But it just doesn't apply to my waterline very well. However, I do use this sometimes for other things. Like, I'll use it for... I'll try to use it and blend it out as an eyeshadow base just to use up the product because I'm a sucker and other things. I'll find other uses for some of these, but the lipsticks I'll probably just pass along. The next one is a new purchase. I just hauled this recently. Um, this is Physician's Formula Eyeliner. It doesn't have a specific name. I know it's in the color Champagne. I forget. I think it's the um, Photo Ready, I think, from Line. And again, I wanted this to try to, um, for my waterline, for a nude liner. I'm probably just going to have to stick with Rimmel. But this, it doesn't go on my waterline very well. I don't know if I have to heat up the product or what. I'll try to maybe play around with it a little bit more since it is a recent purchase. But it just doesn't seem to work for me. Alright, so I have two products left. 
first one is um, another BoxyCharm fail. This is a concealer palette that we got last month in April's BoxyCharm. And this is from Measurable Difference. It looks like this. And then it has all of these colors inside, but I just find these are extremely dry. I know a lot of people are adding oil to them, like drop a couple drops of oil to get them to mix better. I tried to cream contour with this. I put it on. It didn't blend out very well because it's just that drying. So maybe somebody with super duper oily skin could use this, but I'm probably going to end up passing this along too. This is a fail. Now, please don't shoot me for this and this is the biggest fail. Although I hear 50-50 on this and this was really expensive, so I hate hate saying this and I think I might be actually passing this along as well because just no matter how much I try to use it it just doesn't work the way I want it to it pains me to say this the Naked 3 palette the colors are beautiful but with my skin tone for some odd reason I thought this was going to be perfect because I have blue eyes and I thought all oh, those colors are going to look so nice with my blue eyes they just no matter what combinations I wear, my eye looks just always end up looking the same. This color that's called Dust in here literally is dust. This is not Naked 1 quality, like the original Naked palette. Even, maybe even the Naked 2, I don't own the Naked 2 and the Smoky, um, Naked Smoky palette. They probably have like good quality, but I just don't find the quality is exactly in the same in this one. And I think because of my yellow undertones, it's making these all like muddy up on my eyes. So <laughs> it pains me to say this because when all was said and done with shipping and stuff, this was like $80 or something like that. Ridiculous. I know they're like 66 or something like that now at Sephora, so it pains me to say that. But it just, it doesn't work for me, guys. Sorry. And I know a lot of people either love or hate this palette, but... I'm having a hard time letting it go because where I paid so much for it, but at the same time, I, I don't want to see it wasted, so why not pass it along to somebody that would get better use out of it? So you might see me use this, and then you might see it coming up in a declutter palette, uh, declutter video next time I declutter my collection. So those are some products that don't work for me. Do any of these products work for you guys? If they do, that's fantastic. And what products don't work for you guys? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for some more fun and to be notified for future videos. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye, everyone.